Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be coloring this sketch I did of my OC truffles. I'm really sorry if you can hear my heater on in the background, but it's really cold in my painting room and I don't feel like freezing to death, so I'm going to leave it on. In one of my upcoming ASMR videos, I recorded down here in my painting room and I had to turn the heater off so you could hear like the, the pencil, um, the pencil sounds and it was so cold the whole time. My, like I was literally shaking and shivering that I had to take breaks in between so I could warm up before I can continue drawing and I don't feel like freezing right now so I'm just going to leave the heater on and just hope that it's not too loud. When I first started recording this drawing I was really not in the mood to draw but I felt like I needed to do something productive so I decided to record a video instead of working on commissions. Honestly I've been feeling burnt out on commissions again. I only have three commissions to finish at the moment, but it's so hard to get them done. It's like my burnout meter gets shorter and shorter every time I go through it, so I get overwhelmed a lot faster. And it's not the commission's fault, it's everything I'm doing on top of commissions so I decided I was going to take a break from commissions after I finished these three I already closed them I closed them I like five days ago now but yeah I just don't feel like I can handle doing a lot of commissions right now but usually when I don't have commissions I'm very anxious because I think I should be making money like a, as much as I can but I also feel anxious when I do have commissions so I just tell myself you know I might as well be making money and be anxious so I just keep taking them but I think I'm to a point now where my brain literally can't handle doing comms right now and I want to focus on improving my skills yeah, I want to focus on improving my skills so I can be more confident in what I'm able to provide for people and myself. Right now, I feel like my art isn't as good as it could be, and I shouldn't be selling artwork I'm not completely happy with, so I want to spend a lot more time practicing. There's so many things I want to do this year. And so far, I haven't been able to focus on any of it. When I take commissions, I feel like I can't work on anything else until they're done. So if I'm constantly taking commissions, I will never give myself time to do anything else. I just hate the thought of making people wait on me. So I feel guilty if I'm working on something else while people are waiting for their orders to be done. So even if I do end up taking a break from commissions, like while I still have them, to do something like more creatively fulfilling, the whole time I'm drawing something else, I feel guilty because I just feel like I'm wasting time and people are just waiting for me. So even though I'm doing something I want, I want to be doing, it's like I can't fully enjoy it because in the back of my head, I'm telling myself, you shouldn't be doing this. You have commissions to work on. So I feel like taking a break from them to work on other things would be the best thing to do for right now. And hopefully I can stick to it because whenever I say I'm gonna take a break from commissions, I never actually do. It's like as soon as someone messaged me about one, it's like I have to say yes to it. Because even after I closed my commissions the other day, someone messaged me and said, are your comms open? And I said, 
yeah, I, I have I have one more spot open, even though they're closed. It's like I don't know how to say no, or I feel bad about saying no, or I'm saying no to making money, so I'm missing out on that. And also the thought of disappointing someone by saying no makes me feel really bad, but I just, I feel like I have to just start saying no or taking a break for myself because honestly my art, I feel like is suffering from me not taking the time that I need. So yeah, I'm going to be taking a break from commissions, hopefully. Anyway, this is not what I planned on talking about this video. It just kind of went that way. So now I guess I'm just going to start talking about the topic of this video, which is my OC Truffles. Truffles isn't a character for one of my stories or anything. She's just one of my for fun OCs, so she doesn't have a, a very long backstory or anything really developed about her. I just have like some notes or just some ideas about how I want her to be and how I want her to act. And I do have a little bit on her backstory, but it's always changing because I'm not really sure how in depth do I want her character to be. I just really like drawing her. So Truffles is a bunny girl, obviously. She's extremely playful, very naive. She lives with her owner, Louis, and another cat named Cleo. I've been working on Cleo's design. It just isn't nowhere near how I want it to be yet, so I'm still working on drawing her before I post her anywhere. But yeah, she lives with this cat named Cleo and her owner, Lewis. In like their universe, she has this humanoid version, but also like a real animal version. So in some of the comics, she'll be like this, like drawn out with, you know, human proportions and stuff. But in other comics, she'll be a literal bunny like you know a purple bunny and same goes for Cleo of course I don't have too many personality traits for Truffles yet but I just have a few and like despite her name being Truffles she actually hates mushrooms her favorite food is bananas I heard in a YouTube video once that bunnies really likes bananas like even more so than carrots and I thought that was really cute so I decided to give my OC that trait as well so hopefully it's actually true I just have so many ideas for short cute mini comics like four panel comics with Truffles and Cleo maybe a few other characters. I already have a couple ideas for other pets that will be introduced later on. And it's like I can't wait to take my time to be able to develop them. Coming up with characters and their backstories are so much fun when it's not really that serious or won't be developing into a complete story. So I've been having a lot of fun with Truffles lately. And I've been using her to practice drawing things consistently, you know, over and over, having her keep the same look. I feel like I did pretty good with this one, but she still looks a little bit different than the last drawing I've done of her. And I feel like in the last drawing, I made her bottom lip way too big. So I feel like that one's gonna stay like how it is in this one. And while I was drawing, her hair is a little darker than I want it to be. So after I finished this recording, I actually lightened up her hair. It's kind of hard to tell because, once again, the video is a lot more 
overexposed than it was in real life so all these colors are more saturated and darker than it looks in the video and you'll be able to see at the end when I insert the photo and it's like I it's it's so frustrating because while I'm recording I'm looking at the camera and I can see how bright and washed out everything looks and it's like I, there's nothing I can really do about it I don't know if I need a specific camera to record screens but this is something I've been struggling with is getting the colors to look correct and I know there's really no way to do that because I've heard other artists on YouTube talk about the same thing about how the screen just always looks different there's nothing they can do about it they can play with the settings here and there but it doesn't do much and I've noticed that yeah the settings play with the settings doesn't help too much but it's just something I have to deal with until I figure out solutions so it's fine for now the, the drawing still came out really good and the footage doesn't look too bad, so I guess I can't complain too much. I tried a rougher coloring style with this one. You can see with all like the thicker black lines and like the sketchy or rough texture of the brush I'm using. And I really like how it came out and how jagged some of the shadow lines are. I have a habit of over blending but this time it's like I really focused on not making this drawing difficult for myself so I just used that same outline brush to do most of the shadows and it came out like this really sketchy kind of comic book like texture and I was really happy with it so even though I started out not being in the mood to draw as I, as I started working on it it came like a lot more fun and I didn't want to stop drawing I was really not in the mood to do a background though so that's why I, well I knew that from the beginning so I just turned off the sketch layer of the background that I had because I knew I just I didn't want to do that much it was already late it was after midnight when I started this recording and I knew I didn't want to be down here all night. Watching the footage as I'm doing the voiceover really makes me want to work on Cleo's design so I can start drawing them together finally. So maybe I'll do that after I work on some commissions tonight if I really want to get her design figured out. I took notes on her design I'm working on her hair it's like I want her to be a black cat but I'm not sure if I want her to have a shorter hairstyle or like a long side braid but I feel like having her have a shorter like a bob cut kind of will be a nice contrast to truffles hair color or hairstyle and color cuz Cleo's hair is going to be black, you know, because she's a black cat. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my rambling, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!